सो हेलो एंड नमस्ते वंस अगेन सो आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू यू अगेन अबाउट वन ऑफ द लेसन ओन रेमेडीज बट ऑल्सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रेमेडी एंड आई टोल्ड यू दैट माई एंड गो टू अंडरस्टैंड कनेक्शन बिटवीन क्लासिकल होम्योपैथी एंड कॉन्टेम्प्रेरी होम्योपैथी कंटिन्यूस ट्राइंग टू इवॉल्व मोर पैटर्नस ऑफ मोर रेमेडीज दैट वी शुड नो अबाउट ब्रिंग्स मी टू अनदर रेमेडी द रेमेडी कैस्टर इक्वाय the remedy caster equi it's a remedy prepared from rudimentary thumbnail of the horse okay it's prepared from the thumbnail of the horse and a lot of homeopaths have used it typically burnet has used it very often <clears throat> what i want to talk to you about it's a a lot of things have been written about this this remedy <clears throat> but let's talk about it step by step Classically, it has a specific action on skin and epithelium. It reminds you a little bit of uh, the remedy hydrocotyl asiatica, which is another very important remedy for skin um, disorders. But specifically, it's very important for problems around the nipples, and that's why for a mother, for a woman who has a lot of problems around the nipples, the cracked, ulcerated nipples, the pains around the nipples. warts around the nipples eruptions around the nipples somewhere castor equi is a gem of a remedy this is something we know about huh? <clears throat> it's also important for for warts of the breast and also for chapped hands so a lot of cracks in the hands like sarsaparilla graphitis petroleum mercury cystus canadensis of course we know about this and lot of itching in the breast especially the areola around the breast is a fact but what 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 more can i tell you about this remedy it's a gem of a remedy is this <clears throat> nair writes a very interesting rubric and also is the main uh, symptom that came in the proving laughing about things not funny laughing about things not funny so single remedy nair repertory nair repertory is a very old classical repertory and there you'll find the remedy castor equi so interesting so very interesting <clears throat> let's talk a little bit more about uh, the remedy castor equi castor equi being a remedy prepared from the <clears throat> rudimentary thumbnail of the horse makes it a remedy which is which is which is a remedy which has a strong pattern of the mammal family the lac family it will have a direct connection with lac equinum you know the remedy lac equinum which is when is one of the most industrious hard working passionate kind of uh, person and and in in another video on the youtube you will see me talking about lac equinum somewhere but castor equi is is a is a remedy which has a lot of compulsive disorders especially a lot of dysmorphophobia a lot of sensitivity towards appearance about how they will be seen about their body structures <clears throat> and they are people who are very 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 sensitive they are people who can get offended very easily let's try to understand a little bit more this remedy castor equi a lot of lot of castor equi actually is brought by herring and burnet is something that you need to know about <clears throat> burnet once had a case of warts on the forehead and after giving thuja medorinum nothing was helping and he gave castor equi this makes it a very important remedy for warts for eczemas and a very important dermatological remedy 
with this inner energy of the horse so you will see patterns of lack equinum these are some initial thoughts do write to me what you think about it do write to me your thoughts and join us for our new dermatological course which starts very soon